So today I'm going to be doing my October favorites for you. I can't believe October is already over. Um, that's crazy. I feel like it just flew by. But yeah, I'm really excited that it's over because my birthday is November 2nd. Just to let you know, my birthday is November 2nd. If you would like to send me a present. So I actually have been doing some shopping. So I had a lot of things that were my favorites this month that I'm really excited about because usually for the last like few months I haven't had any real favorites because I've been trying to save money. So I'm really excited to show you guys what I like this month. So let's just get right into it. First off, I have to say, I have not like jumped on the Real Techniques brushes like bandwagon. I know that everybody loves them and like raves about them, but I personally had never owned a brush of my own from them. But this past month, I thought that I would buy a few because they are very cheap and they look like really good quality, very dense. And now I'm like obsessed with them. Like I need to have the entire line. I need to have every single brush that they sell. So I got this one to contour with. These are just, I'm gonna show you like three of my favorites. This one I've just been using to like bronze my face or like powder like all over my face if I need to, which I seldomly do, but yeah, it's coming handy. This one is my all time favorite. It's a blush brush and I have, you can see it's dirty. I've been using this like crazy. Like I can't use another blush brush at all. Like I can, I'm addicted to this. So. Yes, this is the Holy Grail. Go and get it if you don't have it because I highly recommend it. The, I think this was like $8 and I can't live without it. Like I need it, I need it with me like every single morning and when I go traveling and everything, like I need it. So go and buy this. Next, I'm going to show you, I mentioned in one of my videos before, I forget which video it was, but I mentioned that Sephora and Disney were coming together for a collaboration to make little pocket mirrors. And so I ended up buying one. I bought the Bell one. I got the Bell one because they didn't have a Jasmine one, which pissed me off. But Bell is my second favorite because my fiance and I always love like the Beauty and the Beast because he always says I'm the beauty and he's the beast because he's like a bigger guy. I don't know. Anyways, just all that gushy little love stuff. I really love it. It's so cute. I like, I almost like don't want to use it because I feel like it's so fragile, but I just, I'm really glad I have it because it's limited edition. So that's another favorite of mine. And then next I've had these for quite a while. I just haven't used them, but I pulled them out the other day to use and now I'm like addicted to using them. It's these little, what are they called? Maybelline and they're called the Elixir. Yeah. It's just these little like glosses. They really, I mean, they have a color to them. I only have these two and they're pretty light colors. So they have a color to them, but when you put it on, you can't even notice. It just looks like there's gloss on your lips. And I'm not really like a glossy lip kind of girl, but just from pulling these out, I have been wearing them like every single day. It's just nice when I'm wearing like no makeup makeup look and then I just throw these on. It kind of makes my lips shine a little bit. I really love them. And... The reason that I haven't been a glossy person in my life is because I have this disgusting thing where like my lips get really dry or something. I don't know, like the gloss dries and dries white. And it's disgusting. Like, you know, we all know like what I'm talking about. It's really disgusting. But these don't do that to me. So when they dry, they just dry. They don't dry white or make me like look weird. They just dry just dry on your lips and still make you look glossy and so there's no like white residue on your lips and so that's why I love these so much so I thought that I would just throw them in my favorites I mean they came out with these like a long time ago but I don't know I'm just now and I've owned them for like over a year but I'm just now realizing how amazing they are so go and pick these up definitely if you want more of like a glossy finish on your lips I also can put on a matte lipstick and then I just put these on over it and it still just makes it like a little glossy so it works like that as well Okay, and next, my fiance and I were down in Los Angeles this week, and we stopped by Nigel's Beauty Emporium, and I picked up another sugar pill pigment. In case you haven't watched my mermaid makeup tutorial that I made with my friend Melissa for Halloween, I'll link the video down below. I think sugar pill makes the best pigments, and so the ones that we used for that video were Lumi and Clickbait, because those were our two favorites. And then while I was at Nigel's this past week, I thought I would pick up another one. So I got the color Magpie. I'll swatch it for you. It's amazing. It's so pretty. It is Magpie. It's just a very pretty navy blue. 
I don't know, I just fell in love with it and it's been sold out online because I've been trying to get my hands on it for a while and so when I saw they had it at the store, I had to pick it up. So that's definitely my favorite pigment of the month. So next is my favorite primer and, or I guess it's a moisturizer and a primer. This is by Marc Jacobs. It is high-end. I know, like, I had to buckle down and just buy something that was high-end, but this is for my skin, and so I've said before, I will sell my soul for good skincare products because you don't want to put crap on your face. So I was at Sephora trying out a different foundation, and she put, I said that I had dry skin, so she's like, I'm going to prime and moisturize your face with something. She put this on me, and it was amazing. It has coconut oil in it, and I love that about it. Like, I love coconut oil for anything, really. Even when, like, I don't want to put makeup on that day, I'll just put this on as a moisturizer, and then I swear to God, like, six, eight hours later, I'm still feeling like I have moisturizer on my face. Like, it's still hydrating my face. So, of course, I had to go back and get it, and it was $45, and that's really expensive, but I just had to do it because now I feel like I can't live without it. So... This is definitely, definitely my favorite moisturizer and primer at the moment. So next, like I said, I went to Sephora to get a new foundation and I decided to get the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I am in the color Medium Sand. It is clay. Like it says Amazonian Clay. Like it's really clay. It really, really is. Like when I'm putting it on my face I feel like I'm put literally just putting like mud and clay like on my face it's really thick which is what I like because it's full coverage I put my makeup on at 8 o'clock this morning and it is now 6.53 at night and I'm about to go out to dinner with my fiance and then I was thinking that once it gets closer to our dinner reservation I was just gonna like redo my makeup or put some more on or something like that but then I looked in the mirror and realized that it's actually held up all day and it looks really good. Like, I mean, yeah, I really love it. So this is my current favorite. I'm obsessed with it right now, actually. Last but not least, I have blushes. I mentioned in my drugstore haul that I picked up an, a blush palette by e.l.f. I picked up the light one in my drugstore haul and then I just went back to Target. I picked up the dark one. And like I said, you can pop these out. I'm not going to because it takes some strength and they like fly everywhere. But I was going to pop them out and then put magnets on them and then put them in a Z palette. So I just went and got the other one just because I love the light ones so much. But yeah, these have been working out great for me. And then on the high-end blush side, this new blush that I am completely obsessed with. I've been wearing it every day. I'm wearing it right now. It's amazing. It is by MAC and it's called Warm Soul. It's just a really pretty, I feel like it looks more pink on camera than it really is, but it's more of a bronzy, terracotta kind of color. Here, I don't know, let me try to swatch it. I don't know if you can even see that, but it is, it's coming up more pink on camera. It's really not that pink. I just like absolutely love it. Oh my god, like I enjoy putting it on when I'm putting it on, especially with my favorite new blush brush. I'm just like... A happy person in the morning that's for sure okay that is it for my October favorites thank you guys so much for watching I should have a good favorites video for November I'm going to be doing a lot of shopping and everything so I should have a pretty lengthy video for that so thank you guys again and I will see you in my next video bye